Hello, I'm Hayden. I'm gonna do the uh, part one for the calculus final. So uh, the threshold for the SIR model is very important. That's S of T, because the uh, or so the uh, infection rate is continuous because it is the rate of change of infected people that can't ha and that can't really have gaps in it because uh, people just get infected at a continuous rate and there's no way to have gaps that go to infinity or something like that. And uh, this means the function is increasing until it gets to S of T, which is the uh, threshold where it peaks off and starts to decrease. And uh, it starts decreasing right after it gets to S of T, the infection rate does. So uh, you're able to find the value of S of T by taking the derivative of the function of the infection and then putting that equal to zero and finding out where it the maximum point is and that's where it curves off and starts or people start getting infected at a lower rate and uh the function s s and i directly relate to each other because uh s is the uh susceptible people i is the infected people and uh the more the more infected people there are the less susceptible people there is so as i goes up s goes down until there is no more people that are susceptible. And uh, let's see here. When the function S, which is susceptible people, reaches the point of S of T, then that means the population has achieved herd immunity. So uh, what that means is there's enough people that can't get infected by it because they're just not susceptible anymore, like they've had it and they can't get it again, or there's a vaccine or something that people who are susceptible are, it's too hard for it to spread from person to person because most people aren't susceptible to it. So, uh, and that's pretty much when everything starts to curve off and the infected rate goes down.